hardest things is not taking it home with you. You know, you really, you feel for these kids. And um, sometimes it's hard to, to think, well, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't make that much of a difference. It was only 45 minutes in their lives. But realizing that what you do can really change their perspective about themselves if you do it with enough thought and enough care. And so I think just trying to really cherish the time you have with every patient and trying to make it really valuable helps. Um, and then you let them go. She really cares about what she does. And when we talk about patients, you can see that. When we talk about a project that she wants to do, you can see that. When they hear what you're saying and you say, you look just like everybody else and you're normal and you're healthy and watching their bearing change, you know, just actually seeing them absorb that information and you can almost see them give themselves some value again, it's incredible and it's, it's my favorite part. The part I, I really admire is her passion. You have to be courageous. When you think about what we do each day in the evaluations of concern for abuse in children, um, it's not easy to listen. It's not easy to be objective, but it is what we have to do. Um, it takes courage to stand there and um, to be there for families and to listen to the troubles and be able to make sense out of them. The patients that come through, you know, these little bitty children who can't protect themselves, who have come forward and are talking to strangers over and over about things that are so personal and so private. And I can't think of anything braver than that. Children do not get to select their parents. And so, I believe that adults can make unhealthy choices and they can choose to live with them or fix them. Unfortunately, when children acquire bad parents, there isn't very much that they can do. And so I just try to make sure that I talk to people at the church, libraries, grocery stores, wherever it is, um, especially if someone says, um, I saw a photo of you you know, with uh, the Child Advocates Group. And I said, oh, let me tell you about that. And so it's just really telling the story over and over. She'd do anything for kids. And so that spirit of loving children and volunteerism uh, has bled on over to all of her work into the Advocacy Center, of course. She has been involved in two capital campaigns. She has been involved in just about every fundraiser as a major sponsor or contributor. She will roll up her sleeves and get involved in some of the more menial things. If we save one, we're saving more down the road because we know that this cycle continues. Children do what they see is done in their household. And so our overall mission is to not need centers like this beautiful facility here. And in order to do that, we all have to be vigilant and do it one child at a time. She's not afraid to take on a challenge. I think somebody very, very smart once said that uh, courage isn't the absence of fear, but it's conquering the fear that we have. Courage to me means um, being bold, stepping outside of your comfort zone, and doing what is right for the right reason.
child abuse is a, is a lifelong issue, um, but that doesn't mean that it has to be lifelong damage. One of the most incredible things that I have learned is that people are resilient and that no matter what has happened, um, the spirit's not broken. It's because of her insights and, and talents that have brought us to where we are now, including her dog, Sydney, who's also a part of our, our therapy team at this point in time. One of the most powerful things that I have done in terms of testimony is um, taking my dog, Sydney, to court. She was actually the very first dog in Travis County to go to court. Sydney was able to do more than I think any human who had had contact with this child could do. And she um, testified and ultimately this defendant got 60 years no parole. She helped our families find that courage, you know, within themselves to get through what they've gone through all in one piece. Courage means don't give up. Courage means that no matter what, you keep going. She is a wonderful teacher, you know, a wonderful mentor, and, you know, I think just a great friend. It's hard sometimes to be able to find a saving grace, but everybody has one. And so that is probably sometimes one of the most difficult things is finding a saving grace, along with the rewarding side is that I know that everybody has one.